All right, what's up, guys? My name is Sue Sandlgren, and today I shall answer your questions that you've been wondering for so long, totally. But um, yeah, I'm just not gonna sit here and talk for a fucking while because um, I'm just gonna, without a further ado, even though I literally just woke up and should have waited a little bit, answer all these questions, and this is gonna be uncut, just like my penis. So. The first question I have gone here is, uh, oh yeah, I'm gonna edit it as well because I'm fucking lazy right now. Uh, first question I've been getting here is from Lee Jonis, and they're asking best K on girl with about um, 500 miles per hour speed uh, amounts of uh, question marks. And now you see the thing here is. The best k on girl, you know, you have to really think here, because obviously I've seen, <clears throat> shown in the past that my my favorite waifu was Miyu for a very long time, and uh, I've said a little bit here and there that, like, the, the waifu that's, like, the girl that's, like, closest to home, closest to me, that I can relate the most to, is Ritsu due to her joking personality I'm just checking so it's not full of shit but I think I'm gonna have to go with all of them actually because after doing a good hard think about it you know you can't you can't pick one you just can't pick one you know it's it's too hard to pick one to the point where it's it's like it's not worth it why would you pick one when you can pick all of them? So, that's my answer. That's all of them. The next question is from LolCloudXD, which I have to open in the, like, notifications tab because their comment actually got deleted for some reason. I don't know if they deleted it, but they asked if I can do a room tour. So, this is gonna be my room tour. I guess I should start with the door, huh? That rhymes. So, you, you see, you come in here and... Uh, you have the warning sign that, you know, warning, this is a fire exit. If, if your fucking house is burning down, you want to go outside, you know. And then we have the main studio set up, I guess. This is like, uh, uh, if, when it works, of course, uh, this is my main studio, so to speak. With uh, these uh, creative speakers, is what they're called. They're really good, I've had them for years. And I believe I might even have found them in the fucking trash. So, the fact that these are so fucking good is quite amazing. But as you see, this guitar does not have a string. And you have my Epiphone Firebird there. And my Dean, which is... In tune! Very nice. Well, yeah, I recorded uh, some stuff with this song, this guitar, recently. This is actually... I cleaned the fretboard uh, recently, uh, so it would be clean, which is like why you clean it, right? Anyways, uh, and change strings because uh, the other string, my E string broke, which uh, I decided I'm just gonna change the entire set because you know. But that's another video, and then we have clock. It's a little bit off center because my guitar is bumped into him. In here he works and we have some shit like my, my cherry mx keyboard that's upside down for some reason i don't know why and we should have the other cherry mx red keyboard here and we have some pedals down there i don't really use them we have my amps i use this one a lot uh we have a box with a bowl in it that I didn't clean last time I ate out of. And we have snowballs that I didn't throw away for some reason. We have this massive fucking bag that for some reason I haven't put where it's supposed to be. So I'm just gonna uh, put it on the floor. Because I'm a nasty motherfucker. And as you see, my room is a fucking mess and I don't care enough to make anything better about it. Those are actually the bracers that I drank on my birthday. Uh, this is the Jack Daniels that I bought on my birthday, so, like, you know, I can't, you can't waste that memory, you know, it's very important, and I have, uh, 
this uh, grog virke for later. Um, I'm gonna drink. I'm gonna make these into very tasty drinks. The Fiesta was really good. And honestly, I recommend it. Because I have drank it more. It also looks a lot more blue in the video than in real life. And this one looks a lot more red than it. it's actually pink though. <laughs> it's an interesting camera to have. Um, also, this guitar looks a lot more like... This, actually, this guitar looks the exact same. But yeah, this is Jackson, which I'm planning to put the Floyd Rose on. And this is like a thing for a dick pump, but we don't talk about that on this channel. Um, my food containers that I use. I don't know. There's th th And then there's just my fucking master bed. Here's where all the magic happens. You know, all the sexing and the masturbating. Mostly masturbating, because I do not have sex. Um... I have uh, about one, two, three, and four body pillows, uh, whereas one of them is for crying into, uh, and and the other ones is for uh, rubbing my cock against. But anyways, next question. Let's see, what's the next question on the list? We have Cringo, really cool name actually. It's a funny one, uh, asking. Alright, I have a really good question for you. What's the deal with air airline foods? And honestly, I don't know, man. Like, seriously, though. Like, honestly, what's the deal with airline foods? Like, come on, man. Jesus Christ. And then we have uh, the fucking bot. Uh, posting bot shit, so we're gonna not pay attention to that. And I think for the rest of the questions, I gotta actually go to the video. That I put the announcement in. So, let me put after latest. And... Here we go. Now we have a question from... A what? Where's the question from my friend? <laughs> okay, so his question is fucking gone. Uh... We have a question here from uh, my my one of my good old time friends. For some reason, also got deleted. And I don't understand why. Everyone's fucking comments are getting deleted for some reason. But um, my friend here asks um three questions: best uh, slash favorite game, favorite YouTubers. And can you pet your kitty? And I'm sorry for the dumbass drilling in the fucking background. But to answer my fav the, the best uh, slash favorite game, obviously, in my opinion, my favorite game is the best game. So if we're talking old, I have to do like different categories, obviously, because old school, like, uh, you know, the dawn of gaming, I, I honestly think Pong is like really funny yeah. it's like a top 10 gamer moments like honestly watching that ball be hit by because it looks like a ball of cum right so that's why i like it so much but um like a game just in general that's like my favorite i mean if anything probably right now red dead redemption 2 because I mean, quite honestly, it's a based game. You go in the Wild West and you really, you, you drink. You literally get p extra fucking life for drinking whiskey. And honestly, I agree with that. You should drink whiskey for more life in your life. And that's amazing. So, that's just... That's it, basically, for that. And, uh, I believe we move on to the next question, which is actually from Speed Pants, I believe. Yep, the next question is from Speed Pants, so here we go. How did you come up with the name, Suicidal Gren, of course, uh, and also, why did you decide to become a fanboy? Okay, so these are actually, like, 
questions that will take up like five minutes of the video. So that's awesome. So how I came up with the name was actually a uh, backstory here. Uh, I was just uh, being the usual fucking Kim, you know. I used to be called Sweet Kim Gaming or Sweet Kim Gaming Productions. <laughs> Uh, which I just call myself SKG Productions for quite the longest time because my first first I had Kimpan 800 then Sweet Kim Gaming then SKG Productions um, before Suicide Grind I really just had those names for the longest time like I had the integration of Sweet Kim Gaming for so many years that I don't even remember when I started it, probably like 2014, something like that. So that's that. But so, but out of the three, I think Kimpan 800 and SKG Productions was the best uh, versions of the names. Sweet Kim Gaming is just like the cutest one, if I have to be honest about that stuff. So that's that. And I guess I guess I should tie the next question after this uh, with the. Uh, Another question, because they kind of answer both. Um, but uh, the reason uh, behind my name is because I was just joking around with my friend, like coming up with like joke genres of music, metal music, like uh, jokingly saying, uh, like, what if we mix this and this together and it would be called this? And then I got to saying, like, what if we mix. Uh, Suicidal, uh, no, what if we mix depressive suicidal black metal with uh, grindcore, like the complete opposite genres of each other, where it's like chaos and it's like one second is black metal and uh, the other second is grindcore. Like, uh, one second you have, uh, you know, big chord and, ah! and then you have uh, 250 BPM blast beats. <laughs> And <laughs> like the weirdest kind of genre possible uh, that I could come up with, and I was just like, "Wait a second! I actually really like that name." And I decided I'm just gonna take it. It's my name now, so <laughs> you know <laughs> that's how it is. So that's the story behind my name. And how did I become a femboy? Uh, I'm actually going to tie this question in with a question from another friend, Breka, uh, which asks, uh, what made you so gay? I'm going to answer them at the same time, basically. So, the fanboy part, I guess I should answer f f first? Yeah, 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 because I want to answer in order. Uh, so, the fanboy part is uh, basically just something that happened in, like, 2020, probably? That's probably when I, yeah, definitely 2020, because I didn't really know much about, like, the whole femboy term before that. I didn't even know about the fucking term before. But I, I guess it's just, you know, being awesome and having swag and, and, you know, being able to, like, switch into fucking a cute dress, but but being able to proudly call yourself a boy still while doing it. it it's like something about that it's not only really hot to me but also really really fun to do it's like it's like a it's like a fucking proper lifestyle you know metalhead in the streets and femboy in the sheets that's what i say um but the next question here that i'm gonna tie in with this is why are you what made you so gay well this is actually gonna be a funny one because this actually goes back to 2016 and anime so at the very start of my anime watching, obviously, I would get into the, like, gateway animes that most people get into, like, my first anime was No Game No Life, and then it was Tu La Vru, which was followed by Re Zero, which actually brings me to how I became fucking a gay. Um, fucking a gay is not what I meant to say, although I do do that a, a lot, I do fuck gay people, uh... Which is something gay people do, which I'm gonna explain why I'm into fucking gay people now. So, what made me so gay? Well, the thing is, when watching Re Zero, there was this one character, as, and this is like 100% true and serious, 100% like unfiltered story too. Uh, so if it sounds funny, it's it's just how it is. 
So, obviously, I think we all know that the character Felix is a fucking cat boy in the anime. He is a boy that dresses in cute dresses. And, you know, Felix, I thought he was like... Because at first it was like uh, my IRL friend Victor, he would uh, send me like uh, p memes uh, where it's like this person is not a girl, like this person is not a real girl and blah 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 and I found it kind of funny uh, because like to me it was n kind of new because keep in mind before I was gay I was really fucking homophobic so I laughed at this stuff like but for the wrong reasons, obviously. Because I thought it was just like, haha, gay fucking, gay fucker, you fucking gay, fucking weirdo, you know? And then I'm like, uh, alright, uh, so then this Felix guy happens to be fucking uh, a, a guy. But the thing is, I thought to myself, but man. This Felix guy is may might be a guy, but he is looking pretty damn hot though. Like, I am gonna be honest with you here, Chief. One hundred percent. I didn't even say stuff like that back then, uh, but I'm gonna be completely honest with you. I think I'm kind of into this shit, you know? Cause like, when I saw Felix, it, it was like, it was like a flip of a switch, like. Before that wasn't even like remotely game, and as soon as I started getting into like ReZero and finding out like wh what Felix really is, like it, that he's like a cat boy that dresses up like that, it was like, man, this is amazing. I I really like this a lot. I think I'm pretty fucking gay now. <laughs> that's quite. It's that's uh, literally how it is. Like I was just like I think I'm gay now. Um. And uh, yeah, that's it for that question. So next question is from Pulse Adam, and I think that should be it for the questions that have been removed. Yeah. So Pulse Adam asks, "Do you like Anal Nafrak?" Uh, well, duh. And uh, next question is, uh, "Is there an IKEA in your city?" From Miyakiyama or Nick? <laughs> Funny guy. I've told him already there is no fucking IKEA in my fucking city. I don't understand how many times I have to say this. There is not an IKEA in my city. Okay. And I'm gonna do this in case it's fucking dirty. There's just not an IKEA in my city. I don't understand, man. Like, there's not an Ikea in my city. Uh man. And also, I realized I forgot to answer some of my friend's question. Um, so, favorite YouTubers. Sorry, uh, Hami-chan. I forgot to answer questions uh, that you said. But I answered them now. So I didn't forget them completely. I am fucking answering them. Uh, favorite YouTubers. I'm glad you asked in plural. Plural, because just putting it in singular was really hard for me uh, when I thought about this actually My favorite youtubers Probably one of them is probably definitely PewDiePie uh, I've been watching a lot of market market player recently just not like you know the typical popular guys on YouTube Other than that it's just like Jared Dines like Bradley Hall, um, Stevie T, these are like all guitar and metal stuff channels. Uh, oh, oh, Ola England, if you don't watch Ola England and you're into like metal music, go fucking subscribe to Ola England and watch him now. Because he's like the best Swedish YouTuber apart from me and PewDiePie and Anomaly. Uh, so yeah, you should totally watch that guy if you're into metal and all, at all. And even if you aren't into metal, I think you can probably get some entertainment out of his uh, jokes. Because he does joke sometimes about farting and burping. He burps a lot. Uh, and so do I. Uh. So that's a moment. 
And also, can you pet your kitty? Well... And there we go. Here is my kitty and she is being pet. Hello. She's just calm right now. She usually does not enjoy being carried. I wonder if she wants to lay down. Hey. Yes. So I guess she will be joining us here for the rest of the video. Except she wants to lay down here. Okay, I'll okay. There we go. You can lay down there, okay? Alright, so, uh, next question is from Clef, it is, uh, when did you start listening to metal, and what is your favorite slam metal band, um, this is a good question, because, I, I wanna keep this, uh, question, let's see how much we were being, uh, 21 minutes, um, because my phone, like, splits up the videos, and then I have to edit them, and then it's cropping, it's gonna be bad, uh, it's just annoying, but we're almost done anyway, so I am going to speed run. When did you start listening to metal? Well, technically I've been listening to metal my whole life because of my mom, you know. Uh, I kind of grew up with uh, stuff like bands like Europe and White Snake and stuff like that, you know, the typical 80s uh, speed metal shred stuff like that with a lot of guitar solos and stuff and catchy choruses, you know. She's my cherry pie, my hairy fly, and then, um, yeah, I guess that should be it then for that question, because, like, I've been listening to metal for my whole life, really. I don't really want to talk about uh, how I got into more heavier metal in this video, because I feel like that could maybe even be another video. Uh, just like uh, a Let's Talk video or whatever. Uh, and I don't want to make this video like 30 minutes, so <laughs> that's why. Um, and what if my favorite slam metal band? You know, the the thing is, I I don't like being having to pick like favorite band here and there. I usually just listen to the music, but I if I can at least give two answers uh, instead of just one, I will say. Uh, uh, that uh, Dehumanizing Eater Ching Worship and Volvodynia. I can't just pick one of them because they're quite the fascinating bands, both of them, aren't they, little kitty? Um, so, that's that question. And then the next question, the next to last question. Well, there's a lot more questions from the last questioner, I guess we could call it. But I'm just going to double check so we don't have any missed questions. No, that's all. Um, next question is, what's the best hentai? Showed you Ramane. Thank you for asking. Um, cameraman when? Oh, wait. These these next questions are all from Marry Me Senpai. So, like, subscribe to Marry Me Senpai. He's in the comment of the older video. You can navigate to it yourselves. Uh... Cameraman when? Probably never because I'm very self-dependent. But if anyone of my like friends or people like I love that I meet IRL or whatever wants to like help me record something that's obviously like amazing, because then I don't have to record it myself, like hold the camera myself, or in this case hold the phone <laughs> myself. But yeah, that's pretty much that for that. Um, and the next question is, uh, are you okay with your living, are you doing okay with your living situation financially and mentally? Well, financially, um, we don't talk about that right now because I kind of don't have a job right now, but I do still live with my dad, so, I mean, it's whatever, you know, and mentally, I mean, it depends how you mean. If I ever think like uh, I want to move, then obviously I want to move. I want to have a job and just do shit. Like a physical job where you like are like the same job I had. 
That was a perfect job, honestly. And the fact that I didn't keep that job was stupid, I think. Um, and honestly, yeah, moving home and having your own apartment, it's nice. But then I also wouldn't uh, have uh, the kitty. So I would miss her a lot. Because they wouldn't be able to afford keeping her, probably. And I love my kitty. So I'll be staying here for a couple more years, probably. Even if I get a very good job with very good financial. I will probably stay here a couple more years so I can be with my kitty. She's very old, too. She's like 12 years old. 13 this year. He's 13 this year. And for an old cat, she's really holding up well. I gotta say, she doesn't seem uh, like she's like doing unwell. She seems healthy and happy. She cuddles. She, she purrs and she, she, she just mostly lays down all the time. She's just tired a lot, I guess, which is obvious because she's like old and shit. So she sleeps a lot, and, but she she has her moments where she will play with like a guitar string or whatever. So she's doing fine. So you don't need to worry about my cat. So more cat videos probably in the future. Uh, but yeah, that's that question. When you're coming back to Osu, in parentheses, there's no such thing as quitting Osu. Well, I'm sorry to say, but I'm. Probably more than interacting with the streams and uh, like following the scores that people set. Never. Because I don't enjoy playing it anymore. Maybe that will change sometime five years from now when I moved from home and have a job. But right now it won't. So... Yeah. You know, uh, any good metal concerts this summer you're going to? Are you fucking out of your mind? Are there even any metal concerts this summer? I don't think so. Uh, next question. Do you listen to SDBM? Which I think he means DSBM. The depressive suicidal black metal. I mean, it's fucking in my name. <laughs> but do I actively listen to it? Not actively, but I do occasionally come back to it. I find myself uh, listening to it every now and then, yeah. Favorite VTubers? Easy. Number one? Matsuri. Number two, Gura. Number three, Russia. Four, Miko. Five, Korone. Those are the objectively best in that exact order. <laughs> and I just dab. How? Uh, next question then. Next to last question actually from Mary Me Senpai. How to be horny? What? How to not be horny and only happy? You're asking me? I don't know. I only know how to be horny and happy. So, next question. Are you watching any animes recently? No. Nah. I don't watch any anime recently, really. Apart from, like, trying to watch the second season of ReZero, which I want to try to finish, and I want to try to get into Nagatoro when that gets released, so I can piss off the angry Twitter users that are trying to cancel her. And I heard they were trying to cancel her because the artist is a hentai artist, and I don't understand. What the fuck is that kind of sentiment? This person makes not safe for work art. Right, I'm gonna cancel them. <laughs> no, literally fuck you if you think like that. Um, so um, um, that's basically the only animes I really plan on doing anything with. But yeah, that's it for this uh, Q and A. I had a little bit of fun. Well, a lot of fun actually, answering some questions and. Uh, Maybe you guys know me more now, maybe you don't, maybe you're still gonna have questions after this and which I will probably just answer in the comment section then because I don't want to do a second Q&A. So, that's it for now baby!
Hey, you know what it is? Uh, stay cute. Uh, you know, I've been no, 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 you know the deal. You, I've been Sue Solid Grand. And you've been watching my Q and A. You know what it is? Stay cute.